Hi everyone. So in this video we're going to turn all these bits here. So we've got the pub, hubcap, rivet belts, all the spokes and the wheel rim into one of these. So let's crack on. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is number the spokes so we can keep track of which type is which. I think I mentioned this in the last video, but obviously this is a new set of spokes, so I've had to do it again. Once we number them up, we stick them in the acid bath, and this helps us to remove the, um, the mill scale coating, the sort of black layer that's on there. They go in here for about 15 minutes and after that you'll see they're a lot cleaner. You can see the silver of the metal a bit more. So we pull them out, rinse them off and then we can use the paint removal disc in the angle grinder to clean them up a bit more. This also has the effect of warming them up so it dries them off. Got a couple of the old stationary engines going in the background there. So we'll just give the front and back faces a quick going over here. Then after that we give the edges some attention. First with the um, power file. This just helps to get rid of some of the laser cutting marks that are left over. And after that we just use a flap disc and we're also um, rounding over the corners in this as well to help the paint stick. And then I've got the um, sanding disc, not disc, flat wheel in the old drill. You can hear this drill's a bit knackered. And that flat wheel's a bit worn out. I hadn't quite realised how worn out it was until I got the new one out. And it actually worked a surprising amount better than the old one. So the next thing we've got to do is mount the face plates on the hub in such a way that they don't interfere with the rear axle. So I fitted them loosely and I'm just checking the sliding fit on the rear axle. And then I'm going to tighten them up and just make sure they don't start interfering. Once they're in the right place then we can um, make the edges of the plate flush with the hub just using the angle grinder. This means once it's got a few coats of paint on it shouldn't show up anymore. Looks good, still nice and loose.
So yeah, just giving it a quick skim just to make the edges flush. I think there was quite a bit of metal to come off on this one actually. And then of course we ran the corners over as well. Another quick go with the old flat wheel, just to smooth off some of the rough bits on the castings. Make sure there's no high spots. Next, we start on the prep of the actual rim itself. So, first of all, I'm just taking the sharp corners off the edge of the rim. We usually use a 120 grit flap disc for all this. So it takes enough metal off and it doesn't leave any sort of deep gouges in the metal afterwards. Now I'm just, I've got a stiff wire brush out to get rid of some of the rust from the vulcanizing process. So we've got to get it all nice and clean ready for the first coat of primer and for the filler that's going to make the fillet. So I'm just cleaning with white spirit ready for the fillet to go in. And then I'll just give it a quick coat of primer just to stop it going rusty while I'm building it. Okay, so now we've spent all that time cleaning up everything, we can finally start putting something together. So first of all, I've just got the oiler to go in. So we do a test fit first, check the threads are all clean and they will go in. Now I'm going to put a bit of thread lock on and screw it back in. So it shouldn't need to come out again, so this is fine. Now it's time to actually start putting the wheel together. I've actually decided to make the wheel build a two part video because um, it's on for sort of 10 minutes already and there's quite a lot left to show so keep an eye out for the next part. So the first job we've got to do is put all the um, spokes in and we just fit them loosely at this stage.
So that's where I'm going to leave it for this video.